Hello everyone, this is the Archfiend here, and tonight we're going to be doing things a little bit differently. Um, I know you guys are used to seeing me um, bitch and moan in my super whiny voice about a number of different topics in this world. Uh, I'm here tonight to talk about a subject that a lot of people rant about that I'm actually going to choose to speak about in a more, of a, more of a celebratory manner. Um, okay, celebratory might be a little bit of an overstatement, but we'll go with that for now. Uh, the topic of discussion tonight is going to be tobacco. Yes, I'm going there. Um, that's something I've wanted to talk about for a while, only I don't want to speak about you know too much of the negativity about it. I want to speak about how I actually appreciate that there's people dumb enough to use tobacco products and how much it has bettered my life as a non-tobacco user. Um, yeah, that's right. I don't smoke. I don't, you know suck anything out of a pipe, I don't chew anything that tastes like shit and makes you spit green piss out your mouth. No. I don't partake in any of that shit. You know why? Because I consider myself a smart guy. Some would argue that, but I consider myself pretty smart. Yeah, um, I'm for tobacco. I'm here to tell you tonight. I'm the Archfiend and I am for tobacco. Sure, that may sound silly, but I'm going to tell you the reasons why I'm for tobacco. Uh, the first thing I would like to tell you is something that I call stupidity tax. Um, I actually heard Bill Maher refer to stupidity tax when he was talking about stuff like lottery tickets being that um, there's a certain part of lottery ticket proceeds that go to pay tax revenue in a state and that would be considered a stupidity tax because you have to be stupid um, to think that you deserve money to, you know, scratch a little coin to a piece of paper and feel that you should be rewarded with beyond your dreams amount of money. Um, I look at cigarettes the same way. I mean, ask yourselves this. How much How much do cigarettes cost where you guys live? I'm sure a lot of you are probably saying five, six, maybe seven dollars. You know how much of that is just tax revenue? I mean, holy shit. We're talking about hundreds of millions of dollars of tax revenue generated just from cigarette sales alone every single year. How can I complain about that? Holy shit, I am glad there's idiots out there that smoke. I'm glad there's people that get addicted real young. I'm glad there's people that suck down cigarettes till the day they die. I mean, holy shit, thank you. I'm here to say thank you to the smokers. Because if those hundreds of millions of dollars weren't generated from cigarette sales, they would get them from other means. They would just raise general taxes on, you know, things here and there. And then my taxes would go up. And, I mean, another thing that I like to say about this whole um, tax revenue and everything is, um, I like, there's like these people out there that try and get people to stop smoking. Like, they create these support groups and, like, you know, people that create like nicotine gum and shit like that in patches like what the hell's up with that shit i mean if you're already smoking you're already stupid so don't help these people out don't help them quit the more people that they get to quit the more chances my taxes are gonna go up screw that shit let these people smoke till they drop dead i don't care it's not my fault i didn't make them smoke but you know what i'm gonna enjoy the tax bonus Sure as hell will. So yeah, thank you smokers for that. Um, yeah, and I mean, the people that say, yeah, well, Archfiend, they get you back with the healthcare costs because, you know, people that smoke, you know, plague the healthcare system and make the rates go up for someone like me. But I mean, I would, I would beg to differ with that because there's an illness that you can get with smoking that uh, pretty much stops your ability to pay health care anymore because it just kills your ass off and that's lung cancer i mean you get that shit you're done for and you're done for relatively quickly so you don't have time to milk too much money out of the health care system because you're already dead and buried while the average person that goes through life a reasonably healthy person would go through life to the age of 80 just with numerous doctor visits that are going to cost a lot more than maybe a year or two or three of cancer treatment for your lungs that usually ends up in just a fatality because it's a very untreatable form of cancer but so yeah um i would argue that they don't get me back in the health care costs so it's a bit of a bummer but yeah like i said stupidity tax stupid diseases 
And thing is, everyone knows that going into the game. So how can I, <laughs> how can I feel bad that these people drop dead at early ages and that they're just willing to just fork out money? And speaking about forking out money is um, these kid, these kids that start smoking. I mean, why not start them young? Teach them. Teach them how to allocate money out of their, you know, if they have paychecks, if they have allowances, teach them young. How to learn how to allocate that money for, you know, an extra six, seven bucks a week or every other day to get that extra pack of cigarettes and um, make them, you know, let people, let society see them for the weak individuals they are as, as early as possible. Um, because in, in all honesty, you are a weak individual if you smoke. If you weren't, then you would know better not to. Sorry, but that's just the way it is. Um, I mean, people are going to argue with me and say, oh, yeah, you're just some stupid ass that doesn't know life and doesn't know how to appreciate life. You can smoke every now and then and be fine and so okay. You don't need to be addicted to it. You know, you cut the shit. Smoking has absolutely zero, zero, zero percent of increasing any quality of your life. Grant, you may be able to smoke to the age of 90, and there's a few free cases where there's not a single health issue, but shit, you're paying for that out of your pocket. And don't tell me that's not a cost that you want to incur just for the hell of it. I mean, sure, you might be filthy rich and it might not matter to you, but okay, we're talking about a .00001% of society. So, like I said, I'm all for smoking. I'm all for the people that start early, and I'm all for the people that smoke to the day they die. I'm for the people that smoke even when they get lung cancer. Patrick Swayze's dying of cancer, and he admitted that he cannot stop smoking. That's fantastic. Keep paying those taxes for me, you idiot douchebag. So, have I been cynical enough here, people? Consider this my little public service message. Um, no, I don't actually endorse people dying from cancer. No, I don't actually endorse people smoking from the day that they're born. Some people probably are, considering they get secondhand smoke and go on to be adolescent smokers. But I'm just here to reinforce the points that if you're a smoker, just stop. I mean, yeah, sure. It does. I mean, I'm grateful if you don't stop, like I said, because it does make my taxes cheaper. You don't really hurt me in health care because a lot of you die off before you have to. But like I said, I did this video with, a, with quite a bit of cynicism in case you can't tell. What can I say? It's it's a subject that I've always wanted to address. I wanted to tackle this from a different angle here. I hate smoking. It's just it's just the epitome of stupid. But then again, there's a stupid person born every other minute in this world. Smokers seems like it's every other ten seconds. I don't know. I've got nothing left to say on this. Smokers, just quit. Silly little smokers. Have a good night, everyone.